Hello, this is Riley with Violet Technical Service. Today we're going to diagnose a low water error on a Horizon ice machine. Before we begin, please be sure to use personal protective equipment. Fallout recommends protective eyewear and gloves for this procedure. Also remove power from the unit when appropriate. Tools and supplies. The tools and supplies we'll be using today are as follows. A large container, a voltmeter, and a Phillips head screwdriver. During operation, the water level cycles between the normal low and the normal high sensors. Should the water be shut off to a running machine, a soft error will occur. The error sequence is as follows. During operation, the water level falls to the normal low sensor, and when it does, the water feed solenoid is energized. If the water is not detected at the normal low sensor within 10 seconds, a soft error will occur. The machine will shut down, but the water feed solenoid will remain energized. Should water return, it will fill to the normal low sensor and the machine will resume normal operation. The error will clear automatically. Ensure there is water supply to the machine. Close the blue and white shutoff valve. Disconnect the water tubing from the John Guest fitting on the water solenoid valve. Place the end of the tubing in a large container and open the valve. Collect about one gallon of water to make sure that you have a sustained water supply. A clogged or blocked filter will provide pressure for a short amount of time and then water pressure will drop or the water will stop flowing. If the water supply is the issue, then look outside the machine to remedy the problem. A water filter system may need service or a supply valve to the ice machine water supply might be in the off position. Otherwise, reconnect the tubing to the John Guest fitting and open the blue and white service valve. Make sure that the circuit board is calling for water by looking at the D22 LED on the Horizon Elite units and the D10 LED on the Horizon units. If the LED is not illuminated, then replace the control board. If the LED is illuminated, then use a voltmeter to check the voltage at the valve. If line voltage is not present at the valve, the board is faulty and must be replaced. If line voltage is present at the valve, then the valve is faulty and must be replaced. 